Welcome back to another episode here on the channel and today we have some brand new Max Raid event news to cover and it's all themed around Halloween for a special Max Raid event that will be running for the next few days. So we'll get into all the details of that in a moment but we just want to touch on a few points before we get into the details of that event because we have currently the October event coming to an end on the 31st so tomorrow it will be ending with new dens being put into effect for the November Max Raid events on Sunday at some point. I'd imagine it'll probably come into effect when this actual Halloween event ends. So we'll probably get all of the updates when that ends. And for the specific times for when the Halloween event does end, I'll put all the details down in the comment section and cover as many time zones as I can so you can kind of relate to that to know what the time frame is for when that will end. And you've got the last chance to kind of get the most out of this event that will be running for this Halloween weekend. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the Max Raid Dens that we got available to us you can see on the screen now if we come over to Cerebi this is the October event that we had running which kind of crossed over with the release of the Crown Tundra we got a bunch of ghost and dark types in here Gigantamax Gengar and Grimmsnarl were the the special Pokemon from this event but if we hop over to the Halloween event which is this one right now and it is running right now so from the 30th of October it started and it will run to the 1st of November like I say I will pin a comment in the comment section on this video Video, just outlining when the exact time for this event to end will be so you've got a, a good idea of when that will be so we'll go through the Pokemon uh, that are available we'll start with Pokemon Sword and uh, the one star raid so these are for those of you that don't have many gym badges at all you'll still have access to this event um, and you can catch these Pokemon so you've got the one stars which are uh, Yanmask, Mimikyu, Trevenant, Pump Kabu pump kaboo we can see it we can see it configurus as well and then the two star raids pretty similar with mimikyu trevenant poltergeist pump kaboo configurus and mimikyu i'm gonna i'm just not gonna say that anymore okay so they're the two star raids and then we'll move on to the three star raids which are trevenant poltergeist go guys go guys go guys actually this is interesting because um we're kind of having a crossover a little bit between the two star and then it moves to three star raids normally we've just got three like a clean sweep of three stars but you can see here that the trevenant here is three star poltergeist is three star and then we get into the four star raids which starts with the gorgeist so you can't get gorgeist any but any lower than a four star raid so you're going to need to have complete some gym badges to actually access this gorgeist now the rarity of the gorgeist gets smaller and tougher the bigger the goal guys gets in these four star raids so that that is important to note there so you've got anything from the extra well extra small small medium large or small medium large and extra large however they do it but you know that the goal guys come in a lots of different sizes so this is what we're going to have access to the largest one obviously going to be the lowest number percent that you're going to have access to and then we'll move on to a continuation of the four star and then moving into five star raids as well with the four star being configurus mimikyu trevenant poltergeist all 20 percent catch rate spawn rate there and then we're going to have the gorgeist and another gorgeist kicking into a five star raid now this is interesting because uh, we've got a very small chance a one percent chance now of a square shiny very small Gorgeist appearing now I think that is the small or the extra small Gorgeist that will be there in this den so you've got a possibility of that one and then we'll move down to the rest of the five star raids which is ah okay so you've got two chances to get a shiny Gorgeist. You can get a very small one or you can get a very large one. Both guaranteed square shinies, both 1% spawn rate. And then the other Gorgeist is going to be um, a large and uh, they look kind of like either medium or large. Just Gorgeist that are just going to appear at an 8% catch rate. So very slim chances of actually spawning one. But if you do, then obviously you have a a, a chance at getting a square shiny which is pretty exciting and a nice event just running at the minute for the max raid events then you got configurus then uh, mimikyu trevenant and poltergeist ending that out and then we'll move on to pokemon shield again the one stars are very much the same as well as the two stars as pokemon sword and the three to four stars look exactly the same uh yeah four to five stars exactly the same so this event is exactly the same right across the board for both 
both Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield copies. You're going to be able to access these dens across any raid den in the wild area, in the Crown Tundra, in the Isle of Armor, excluding some of the special dens like the Regigigas den. I don't think you'll be able to access it in that because I don't think you can get anything else in that den. Um, and like I said, this is running from the 30th of October, which is today, until the 1st of November. Like I already mentioned, I will update the comment section below with specific times for when it does finish around the world now we are in the game what you want to do to update your dens is just hop into your menu screen come to mystery gift and what you want to do is just click on get wild area news it will connect to the internet and then you'll get a message just popping up saying that your wild update area news has been updated and uh, that is that so you can come to the den when you've got a den active as well the one thing that you want to do is probably try and find in some of the wild area crown tundra or isle of armor dens that are close enough to each other because what you can do is just drop a wishing piece into it as long as it's a red beam you've got a chance to spawn one of these max red events that are running at the minute now if it isn't and it's just the generic pokemon from that den what you can do is then shoot over to the den that's very close to you drop another wishing piece it'll reset the previous den that you were putting a wishing piece into with a red an active beam and then you can reactivate another beam in the other den and then just go in between both dens until you get Get the uh, the event den that you want and once you've got the den active as you can see we've got the the event here we can do to change the pokemon because obviously you'll be hunting probably predominantly for that shiny gold guys that's definitely what i would be going for so you can use the date skip glitch to do this what you want to do is just make sure that you aren't on the internet to do this and uh, i know i go through this in some videos but this is for the benefit of anyone coming in you want to just go to your home menu system settings and then down to system date and time make sure that your synchronized clock for the internet is off Move the date forward one date come back into your game and then obviously quit out you have to invite others to start with as well before you do that process and then once you've done that the the game will think 24 hours has passed and you can come back into the den you'll get two two thousand watts and the pokemon will have changed so you want to just do that over and over again this is a way to cycle through the pokemon in the den until you hit that goal geist and then when you hit the goal geist you can then save before it and uh, go into the raid den and check if it's shiny if it's not and you just reset your game and start the process again until you hit that next goal geist and uh, that will be the process of shiny hunting in these dens because sooner or later you should come across the goal guys it probably will be a bit of a grind because obviously one percent spawn rate for these shinies is incredibly low but you do have a chance to get them so there is it, it's always worth trying especially for these special events but uh, what we're going to do now is i'm going to grind through until we actually hit the Gorgeist and then we'll be back to see if we can actually manage to get a shiny for this guide. We haven't been able to ever do a shiny on the guides before so it would be nice if we could do one for today. So we'll be right back. Five star Gorgeist already so what I'm going to do like I mentioned earlier is just save in front of it because if you are planning on shiny hunting for this Pokemon you can then go and check the den. If it's not shiny then you just reset and then just repeat this process but for this guide's sake we'll have a look and uh, let's get the hype. The reaction would be amazing and if we can get a shiny because like i said i've never got a shiny on the guides before so keep our fingers crossed let's hope i'm not let down it's not ah, okay okay there we go anyway but that is basically how you would do it in the wild area and any of the dens are uh, available to do this in as well so there's the goal guys this is the event that's running like i said it is running until the 1st of november so it will be finishing on sunday make sure if you do and want to take part in this event you take uh, the opportunity to get involved with it before the max raid den events update for the november update in a couple of days time so i'm gonna wrap it up there friends i hope you found today's guide useful i hope you have an amazing halloween whatever you're up to and if you do take part in these max raid den events i hope you have a lot of luck catching that shiny gold guys let me know in the comment section below if you do catch the gold guys because i'd be really interested to see how many of you actually are able to obtain it uh, early on in the event as well i'll definitely be trying to uh, farm for it if i can and if i do i'll probably host it over on our discord so if you want to hop over there and uh, join the community i'm sure there'll be a lot of other members hosting the shiny raid over the weekend as well who end up getting it so 
thanks for tuning in have a great rest of your day like i say enjoy halloween stay safe and i will see you all for another episode soon so until then friends take care and bye bye